Hey guys, welcome back to Hull City. Welcome back to the Champions League. We start with our second game of the competition this season. Our first year in the competition and we're top of the group. And we face second in the group, Leverkusen, who beat the other side in our group, Benfica, in the first match. Today. We got a very good win against Lokomotiv Moscow yesterday in uh, the first group stage game. As you can see there, unfortunately, our league form is left a little bit wanting at the minute. Two draws and a defeat yesterday. We uh, had a, a relatively positive start to the Premier League with two wins, a draw and a defeat, but we haven't won in three now. So I'd like to get back to winning ways. However, we've Liverpool and Manchester United as the other two games today. So I don't know how confident I haven't been able to get any more points on the board in the Premier League. The board aren't that happy with me at present. Board rating 70, as you can see there. Might have to... Uh, rotate slightly for this next game but we've got the the squad depth now to deal with it thanks to the previous transfer window so we're happy enough to be able to uh, to move some players around and get some better players into that starting or fresher players at least into that starting lineup Curtis Jones can get the start Pedro Neto is out injured for only about a week or so so it won't be long till he's back in action but we'll change Sigankov to a right mid not a right wing and there we go he gets a massive amount of boosts so we're in a good spot right now We'll give Curtis Jones the start ahead of Rob Wallace because Curtis Jones has been very good so far. Not that high rated, but great dynamic forward running, forward thinking midfielder that we've been very impressed with so far. You can see Leverkusen's lineup on the right hand side. David De Gea in goal. John Joe Kenny at right back. Gabriel Duarte and Sanchez. Florentino, another new signing for them in at CDM with Coop Mainers and Silva in the midfield. Diaby on the left. Ihataran on the right. And Myron Boadu up top. They are quick in forward areas, specifically with Boadu and Diaby, going to be dangerous. That's very dangerous indeed, but is it going to be easy to get the ball past their defence? I don't know. Certainly when we get through them, is David De Gea still as good as he was? We don't know. We'll find out, but I pray that we can at least avoid defeat so that we keep that top of the group spot. Do drop the video a like if you enjoy. Make sure you subscribe to the channel so you don't miss out on more. And let's jump to the Premier League. To the Premier League. To the Champions League. And it's Bernardo Silva in their midfield, as you saw there. Hell of a signing. Here's Sanchez. Leverkusen on the attack at the beginning of the game. Bernardo Silva. Don't let him shoot on his left. We'll try and work a passing opportunity on his left. Get to that. He's won the ball. He's won the ball. Replay, please. Sure, he got the ball there. It, unless Bernardo Silva got to it first and I've gone through his foot to get to it, maybe. Oh, I'm not sure. I'm not sure. I need a replay of a better angle. Let's have a look then. Bernardo Silva on his way into the box. Garcia Vaya arrives. And... Oh, he has missed the ball entirely. I can't complain then, can I? That's a definite penalty. I thought in real time he'd gotten to the ball, but Bernardo Silva just moved it left and Vaya couldn't get there. Boadu to step up and... No! Hit the post. It hits the goalkeeper and goes in. Will that go down as an own goal? Or did it go in off the post and it didn't hit the goalkeeper? I'm not sure. Was it, was it post and in or was it post goalkeeper and in? You can't tell from the first angle. Yeah, post goalkeeper and in. May well go down as an own goal. It hasn't. It's gone down as Boadu's with an 11th minute penalty. Leverkusen lead. Sigankov inside to Curtis Jones. Looking for Sigankov again. Can't get it to him, but Barnett has Sangare. And Sangare can look for Kinlo's pull up, but John Joe Kenny just gets enough on it. Oh, man. Come on, through that gap. Curtis, come on. I praised you before the game. Oh, but Domingos. Duarte gets to the ball first. We're very nearly level. But not yet. Still we trail. Bernardo Silva will deliver it. And that left foot's decent. Curtis Jones away. Not going to get to that first with Malik despite sprinting as fast as he possibly could towards it. Here's Bernardo again. Into DRB. Don't foul him this time. Don't foul him. Oh, Galaxi makes a save. Oh, because it bobbled up. I was like, where's he going? Where's he going? Where's he going? Wide. Thank God for that. We're going to take this one short. Bernardo Silva into Diaby. Nice tackle by Sigankov. Just slowing them up. Meaning that those defenders think about tracking back. 
and not staying forward for a cross. But they haven't gotten back yet properly. And Sangari with a nice turn. Barnett will go all the way out wide first to Keen Lewis Potter. And if he can keep himself onside, Malik Wilkes could be in for an equaliser. Good first touch. Brilliant save by David De Gea. He might not be in a Manchester United shirt anymore, but he's still doing the business. Curtis Jones with the delivery. Stowe can't flick that goalwards. Garcia Via looking to make up for his penalty giveaway earlier on, but shooting not his strong point. Ihatteran. Back to John Joe Kenny. Gabriel Florentino. Nice tackle by Mallet Wilkes. He's taken it away from him. Oh, we didn't make a good enough run. Charlie Barnett. The one I could use to send him in behind anyway. Here's Ronnie Lopez on at half time for Leverkusen here on the left hand side. Musa Diaby going off. Bernardo Silva in the box. Already won a penalty for them with his trickery and his good feet. He's getting away from Curtis Jones. Doing the same to Tavares. And he just keeps getting closer and closer to goal. Goes for the shot. And Garcia Via does manage to get a block on it. And that was straight to Galaxy, thankfully. Right, quick counter. Come on, Bosch. Up we go. Oh, terrible. Terrible distribution. Looking for Wilkes. And it was nowhere near any of the three men that were up there waiting to bring it down and go for the counter. Ronnie Lopez played back in out wide again. Can't get closer with Tavares. Sanchez, that's a good tackle right now. The counter can come. And we'll go inside there to Curtis Jones and look for Sigankov again. It's a lovely ball. He is left-footed. We're trying to train that weak foot. Well, I've got Keen Lewis Potter's just waiting to turn that home, isn't he? Just waiting to turn that home. We're level on the hour mark with half an hour still to push for another. Coop Maynus, nice tackle. Come on then. Ah, oh, Barnett. Yes, arc that run. Go on, son. Get him behind. Powering away. Charlie Barnett, a quick fire double and whole lead in the Champions League again. It took forever to break down this Leverkusen defence, but Barnett just made the right run to arc there to keep his run on side. If he'd have just kept going on that straight trajectory, then even though the left back was a little bit deeper, he'd still have run offside. But by arcing it the way that he did, kept himself on side, simple ball through to him, and easily with the space to be able to turn onto the left and sweep it home. His second goal of the Champions League so far this year. A goal in every game we've played in the competition so far. Hopefully a game in each win we've gotten in the Champions League so far. Provided we see this through. Boadu. Nice tackle by Keen Lewis Potter. Hello. Oh, look at the press. Leverkusen have the changed their tactics. And I don't know as that's going to work, lads. The press very rarely works against me. Normally pick you apart and go up the other end and... Score more. Here's Boadu. Tackled well by Steu and fairly so. Jones fall to Barnett quickly round the corner. Could get it back to him. Sigankov's going to race into the box here. Can we get him his first goal for the club? No. David De Gea bats it away. Back to danger. But thankfully for their defensive points of view to a defender went back into the danger area. Not to an awaiting striker who would have tucked that home and seen Leverkusen off. To make it 3-1. I still feel like they're the second best side in the group. But certainly we should be winning it. It's the Champions League after all. And we were the champions in our division. And neither of the other three were champions in... Well, I don't know about Russia actually. We didn't look at Russia. But I don't know as Benfica were champions in there. Oh, Barnett bury this. Oh, it's fallen free. No, I still can't score. Oh my God. Leverkusen holding on. And if they score now on this counter-attack, then my God, what a set of... Defensive tackles they were. Ronnie Lopez. Tavares puts a foot in. Dangles a leg but can't get the ball. And his Sanchez is forward. And back to Domingos Duarte. Forward to Bernardo Silva. Around the corners of Ronnie Lopez. Looking for the ball inside. But I see Avias there. But again out wide here to Ronnie Lopez. Everything they've done has come down this left-hand side in each half. Either through Musa Diaby or now Ronnie Lopez. Curtis Jones looking to get away from Florentino though. That's not the best of balls actually. Looking for Malik Wilkes. But well, we will lift it. And how's your touch, Sigankov? It's not bad. This time, no! <laughs> Desperate to get Victor Sigankov his first goal for the club. But it just won't come. David De Gea in the way. The woodwork denying him on this occasion. But as time ticks down, that will be the win. And oh, it just tackled him as well. We could have been in for another. We will stay top of the group. And we have ourselves six points.
We're three points clear of anybody else now as Leverkusen beat Benfica. Benfica were leading and resoundingly seeing off Locomotive Moscow, who, as we thought would be the case, definitely the worst side in the group. Right, up next, Liverpool, then Manchester United. So we do play David De Gea in this episode, but not when he's in a Manchester United shirt. 16 points at the top of the table, 15 in fourth. We're six points off the Champions League spots right now with Liverpool and Manchester United next. This has been a tough early few games in the Premier League this year. We have made changes, obviously, to the squad and it's taking a while for those new players to slot in. But I certainly haven't been that strong defensively and I have to hold my hand up and say that part of it's definitely my fault for my defensive mistakes. Liverpool line up with Alisson in goal. Still Trent at right back. Salisu alongside Jose Maria Jimenez and Andy Robertson at left back. Camavinga in their midfield with Saul and Ndombele. And Traore either side with Jota of Roberto Firmino. Camavinga come to Liverpool. We had our eye on him. Was too highly valued for us at the time. And we'll see if he's any good here. They're number seven at Liverpool. Can't remember where they are in the league, actually. But we certainly know that we need to be higher than where we are. So three points at Anfield certainly wouldn't go amiss. Garcia Vaya. All right, Adama. Calm down. Lewis Potter with the throw. Come on, then. Nicely played. Really nicely played. Really nicely played. Lautaro Martinez. Deadly finish. We lead at Anfield. Lautaro tucks it home on his left foot. We have another for him. I thought I'd taken it slightly too close to Alisson. As ever, that extra touch always seems to be that little bit too heavy, but uh, it was his first touch, actually, that was a bit heavy. And he had the one touch, but into him. And Alisson, did he... Oh, he did try and spread himself, but couldn't get to it. Kind of leg went one way, body went the other, and he went between the two. We'll take it. His second goal in the Premier League. Only his first goal scored for me in a played Premier League game. Got his other goals for me in the Champions League against Lokomotiv Moscow, but great to get him off the mark for me in the Premier League as well. And we lead at Anfield by a goal to nil. Madison to Wilkes. Around the corner nicely to Lautaro. Lofted it over the top. Can we get there? Can we get there? Can we get there? No, we can't. Alisson back to Sally Sue. And Saul. And Bobby Firmino. Adama Traore down the right for Liverpool at the start of the second half. Trent with good footwork. Camavinga over the top looking for Trent again. Back to Adama. Liverpool playing well here until Bobby Firmino gives the ball away. Elder swept forward. No, it was meant to go all the way to Charlie Barnett. Just tried to pick out James Madison. And now I'm on the back foot. And Camavinga buries in front of the cop. Liverpool back level. Camavinga celebrating with his new adoring fans. Should be a yellow card for that. Be, be great if they actually did give them a yellow card for that, wouldn't it? Celebrate like that if you want AI, but you should get a yellow because you're not allowed to do that. Oh, unfortunately, he is allowed to score. So we are level at 1-1 and the goal will count. Even though his yellow card hasn't. Wilkes to Barnett, back to Wilkes. Barnett's still there and in a good position and Lautaro would be onside. Oh, but Jose Maria Jimenez gets back to it. Just not making the right decision at the right time at the minute. Lovely ball by Camavinga out to Andy Robertson. Great first touch as well. Nice interception by Sturyu. Oh, counter. Here we go. Look at Malik Wilkes at the back post. It's who will go to. It's who will find. It's who will score. We lead again. We'll go and celebrate with the whole fans. If Camavinga can do it. If, oh, if Camavinga can do it. Apparently it's hard to say. Malik Wilkes can too. Just got the pace to get away from the defender. And bang, wound up for the header and buried it in that far corner. Great finish. We're 2-1 in front again. Give me those three points. Or oh, Jimenez. Could he have kept that out? Certainly won't want to look at that again. 
across to Trent Alexander-Arnold. Liverpool with plenty of bodies forward here. We've got a handful of bodies loitering, as you can see by the mini-map at the bottom, just waiting for the counter, which could come now if we can get to that first, which we have done, but... That's, oh, no, go on, Malik. Time it right. He was in his own half. He's onside. He's got the legs on Andy Robertson. This will be game. This will be game if we can turn it home. Done and dusted, Liverpool. Done and dusted. Hull City 3, Liverpool 1. Are we back to our best in the Premier League? I certainly hope so. Manchester United next. Big scenes. Forward to Firmino and Robertson. Playing on the right-hand side of midfield now, seemingly Andy Robertson. Firmino tackled, and that'll be all she wrote at Anfield. Three points and back to good form. Back-to-back -back wins to start the day. Thank you very much indeed. Liverpool, well, I mean, both sides. The only shots we had went in. Every single shot on goal went into the back of the net in that game. <laughs> Might not be that many highlights, actually, for you guys then. Why not be quite... That longer video, if every shot that we're taking goes in. We'll go and have a couple of quick training sessions. And then it'll be Manchester United next, who are level on points with us. And only above us on goal difference in the minute by plus one. And Tottenham are only above us by plus one goal scored as well, because we have the same goal difference. 12 points is now three points off fourth. Three points off fourth. And we're six, no, seven points off the top of the table. Closing the gap. Let's do it again and close it yet further with a win against Man United. Manchester United. Vlakadimos in goal. Joao Cancelo at right back and Tellez at left back. The right way around this time. Mengi in the starting lineup for them though. Casemiro and Zakaria with Sergio Nabri, Bruno Fernandes, Marcus Rashford and Gabi Jesus leading the line. Cover Hal, Turam, Cover Lewin, Wambisaka, Lewandowski on the bench. A wealth of riches available to Manchester United. But. They're not doing that well in the league. Only joint level with us on 12 points. They're underperforming. We're underperforming. It's kind of reassuring that we're not the only team that are underperforming. But hopefully, by the end of this game, they still will be and we won't. We'll be back towards those Champions League spots. Up we go with the header. That was a strong challenge from man on the right-hand side for them. Never mind. Moving forward, we'll try and keep the clean sheet we've got. And try and keep Manchester United at bay whilst trying to get victory again at the other end. Good football, good footwork. Barnett to Madison and down the line. Alec Wilkes looking to get away. Scored two in the last game. Doesn't have one in this one. Oh, seeing Niklas Sula's name reminds me of how we wrote him off in the last game against United. I'd love to do that again. But we go maybe Lissandro. He's not the tallest. Why do I keep saying Lissandro rather than Lautaro? Idiot chess. I don't know why that keeps happening. For some reason, my brain keeps calling him Lissandro Martinez. I think my brain is thinking of Lissandro Lopez, the old Argentinian striker. But why I keep saying Lissandro Martinez, I have no idea. I can only apologise for my brain's inability to sort itself out. Hopefully I can sort my feet out here, though. Barnett back to Lautaro. Into Madison. To Wilkes. And United standing firm, though, as a defensive line. Keen Lewis Potter around the corner. Delivered into the middle. And away by Sula. Try and slow the German down. Good tackle. Got bodies forward here. United though. Gnabry into Jacques Cancelo. Where's he going to go? Oh, he's gotten away from me well. Really well. Sangare bounces off the man as well. Holding on to possession well here. Manchester United. If not, perhaps slightly lucky at times. But it bounces for me there. In the tackle as we try and win it back. I'll lift this. And Lautaro is onside. Let's go, Mr. Martinez. Let's go, please. Oh, I've run too far. Or oh, have we? No, we haven't. Calm and composed. Don't just rush the shot because you think the keeper's going to get there and just get a shot away. Chill. Calm. Turn around. Take your time. Find the space. Bury it in the back of the net. 1-0 Hull City. Madison, lay that into Sangare and across to Elder. There's Lewis Potter and back. Sangare again. Wilkes quickly to Lautaro. It's not Lautaro, it's Charlie Barnett. How he's kept the ball there against Niklas Sula, I do not know. Get it into him again. And look at Tavares on the overlap. And this has worked for us in previous games. Oh, but Mengi is underneath it. 
and away, unfortunately, despite the man being poised perfectly to give us a second goal and double our advantage before half-time. Well-worked move in the end. But unfortunately, we can't extend the lead, but at least we'll hold on to it at the other end. Still got our clean seat here against Manchester United. And we'll take our 1-0 lead in at the break. And hopefully take it all the way home as well. Tellez to Rashford. We might not take it in at the break. We might not take it in the break. We won't. Look at the time. The referee has done it to us again. 45 plus 1. But a goal in the 45 plus 5th minute of the first half. <sighs> Rashford has done stir you twice and nails it at the near post. Pissed. Calamelda does really well. Sangari's going to have to have a good first touch to get away from the defender. And Lewis Potter does the same. But Jacques Cancelo is pretty damned fast, isn't he? So we're not going to easily get away from him. Might have opened up on the right-hand side for Malik Wilkes here, though. If we can get it to Madison again, we could be in for a second. No Sula with the block. Good opportunity at the beginning of the second half. Now Rudy Fernandez could set up a counter-attack for United. Zakaria couldn't go to Rashford because I think he'd just gone offside. Serge Gnabry's waiting for it on the right, but that's overplayed, is it? I will try and chase it just in case he keeps it in, but he won't. Off goes Joao Cancelo. On comes Aaron Wan-Bissaka. I don't know whether that's because they want fresh legs to get a wing back forward to try and steal the win, or whether they just want to hold on to the point that they've gotten thus far. Wan-Bissaka is in the box here and could cause us all kinds of issues. James Garner stops on it and turns. And good save by Galacci. Wasn't expecting him just to stop on it there. Tavares. Not Tavares. Bayard is available down the line. Tavares has come off. Right, two minutes added on. Two minutes gone. If I score now, it's payback for the goal that they got at the end of the first half. It could yet be Lautaro. It has to be now. It has to be now. It has to be now. It's not. It's a corner. Oh, have I wasted it? Have I wasted it? We'll loft it into the middle with Wallace. It's a good delivery. Lautaro's up. It went goalwards, but not quick enough. Keeper able to just stand there and... I'll have that. Ah, oh, balls. A 1-1 draw against Manchester United, but still better results than we've been getting. But, oh, we should have won that, really. We should have won that there. Not to worry, Manchester United are a tough side. You saw how strong their 11 were. The board is still pissed at me. My manager rating is only 69. In our re attempt to retain our Premier League title, we are floundering at the minute in eighth. Still, though, two points off fifth and two points off fourth. So if we'd have won that, we could have been fourth. Blech. Nine points of Manchester City at the top of the table now who are going from strength to strength. We're doing very well in cup competition, though, and still going strong in the Champions League. We could get a third straight victory away from home against Benfica at the beginning of tomorrow's episode. Then it's Villa away where we really should be getting three points and Watford away where we really should be getting through to the next round of the Carabao Cup. But that will draw us to a close for today. Thank you very much for watching, guys. Drop the video a like if you enjoyed, of course. Make sure you subscribe to the channel too so you don't miss out on the remainder of this final season here at Hull City. A season where hopefully we will win multiple trophies. I'll see you tomorrow.